Well, from Whitman Armory in Whitman, Mass., it's Atlantic Boxing Television. John Horgan, joined by Paul Stavaletta, Pete McGowan, Jeremy Swoboda. This is Peter McNeely's tune-up fight before he faces Oliver McCall, the WBC heavyweight champion. As you can see, it is a packed house, wing-to-wing SRO. We're going to have the fire department in here blocking off exits or opening at new exits in just a minute. The officials for tonight, there you see Bob Benoit talking to the master of ceremonies. Anybody who's anybody in boxing in the New England scene is here tonight. Well, let's look at the docket. Now, this can change, but at 135 pounds to open up this uh, banquet of fights, Sam Gerard is supposed to take on Adam Avilas. Then we have Chuck Livingston at a heavyweight doing a four-round bout with a, a TBA to be announced. And then we have Mike Colbert taking on Milton Leakes at 160 pounds. That's six rounds. And then Derek Barnes will take on Joe LaRue in a 135-pound match, four rounds. And then the feature bout, the marquee bout, the hurricane, Peter McNeely taking on for the second time former WBC champion J.B. Williamson. That is scheduled for 10 rounds in the heavyweight division. Again, McNeely, 25 years old, out of Medfield, Massachusetts. And then we'll have an intermission at that point. And then Pete McGowan will come back and call some exciting fights for you. We got some man demolition man Dan Fippen. This guy is a two-fisted fighter, lightning quick, and his punches rip and destroy. He's going to be taking on Hector Rodriguez, who's no pitching. That's at 147 pounds, four rounds. Then Mike Little Rock Cappiello at 130 pounds in an eight-round matchup. This should be a good fight versus Danny Mad Dog Mason. Then Louis Masonette, a welterweight, taking on Julio Torres. And then finally Tom Trojanowski versus To Be Announced. From the Whitman Armory in Whitman, Massachusetts, it's Atlantic Boxing Television. Hello, everybody. I'm John Horrigan, joined by Paul Stivaletta, Pete McGowan. Another season. This time, we're going to have some pro fights for you. As the scheduled fighters come into the ring, Sam Gerard and Adam Aviles. This will be the first match at 135 pounds, a four-round bout. Let's go to the ring. It's a 
his first pro fight. Do you remember your first pro fight? Yes, I do. Uh, I remember it. It was at the uh, mechanics building, which is not there anymore. They knocked it down, and uh, remember those uh, that fight very well. well. So, Sam Gerard out of Providence. A lot of good boxing comes out of Providence. Vinny Pazienza. That's right. Uh, uh, there was a lot of great fighters from uh, out of um, uh, Rhode Island, the Providence, uh, Rhode Island. Uh, uh, Willie Green. Uh, uh, there's many, many more. I can't catch it right now in my mind, but uh, there are great fights from Providence, and you're going to see that tonight anyway. Round one in this four-round lightweight bout, and a nice right hand by Gerard, who was in the white tr uh, trunks, trimmed in yellow, Aviles in the red, white, and blue trunks, the Puerto Rican flag trunks, and right off the bat, Polly, Gerard trying to take the fight to Aviles. Now Aviles counter-punching with a right hand and missing. Fighters to the center of the ring. Now a nice strong left hand, a combination here by Gerard. Maybe if the cameraman can back up and not hold on to the ring, back up. Uh, it looks like a very exciting fight. Both boys are exchanging punches very well. I say it's very well even right now. They're both excited. This is only the first round. And uh, the second round, uh, if it goes that way, we'll see a change take place. Now, Pete, if you touch the ropes, you'll get us thrown out of here. So please don't touch the ropes. Atlantic Boxing Television, we do a handheld camera. Again, Pete, if you could please back up. Please back up. And don't touch the ropes. Please don't touch the ropes. Thank you. <laughs> Get our butts thrown out of here after all the hard work. Now, Vilas in the red, white, and blue trunks. This round has been even. Yep, uh, they're planning some good punches. They're uh, uh, getting into it, and uh, there was a little dirty thing done right there, I guess. Uh, the referee didn't catch that. <laughs> Bob Benoit is the referee. The judges are Bill Conley with an E, Bill Conley with an O. Jordan Peaky Pico is the other official for tonight's bouts. Three judges figure into the scoring. Well, Avilas is two and two, Polly. He's from Springfield. There's a nice combination by Gerard. Gerard seems to have all of the going early on. Yeah, Gerard uh, is, uh, seems to be pretty uh, seasoned, even though it's his first pro fight, but had many, many amateur fights. He's punching well, he's very confident. And uh, uh, Vitas is uh, uh, doing very well, too. It seems to be very even, but now as the round gets later on in the rounds, you can see Gerard is landing more serious punches, more uh, at ease right now, and uh, uh, it's getting better as it goes on. Packed house here in Whitman. The opening round of the opening bout. Now a nice combination culminating in a right hand fired off by Gerard. He staggers Avilas here in this opening round. Avilas doing most of the covering up. A little back slap there. Fighters separated by Bob Benoit. Gerard, though, seems to be the predator. And Avilas the prey early on here. Avilas misses with a combination. Gerard responds with a solid left hand and starts to work over Avilas as he backs him into the blue corner. Yes, uh, uh, Gerard seems to be taking over the fight now. Avilas is backing off now. It looks like he's already tired or afraid of some hard punches that were thrown. He, he seems to be a little hurt because he's uh, shying away from uh, Avilas, uh, Gerard. That is the end of the first round. You're watching Atlantic Boxing Television. We'll be right back. <laughs> 